All right, I'm in my auto account and I'm playing my way. I'm trying to get my Tour 9 trophies back. And then on to Tour 10. I don't know if I'm going to go past Tour 10. Uh, like that's where I've been before, so we'll see. It, I'm not I'm not sure I will. I, I'm still having fun right here, so we'll see. Entry fee, 1 million. What bag am I taking? I want to make sure I take, I'm taking that bag right there every time. Every hole. Every hole. I don't know the numbers off the top of my head for a couple of these clubs, so I do have my cheat sheet here. <clears throat> I'm going to set a 30 minute timer. I got 30 minutes. 30 minutes. <clears throat> See how much, what we, what if anything we can do in 30 minutes, 11, one. So 11.1 divided by 1.5, 7.4 rings. I can get lined up with the wind. Man. And I hit it 7,000 rings great to the left. And it still might end up in there. <laughs> Close. Close. I tried to leave myself so much room, but I was hesitant on the pull. I wasn't thinking when I set that up. I should have went to the left. I should have went to the left with the way the wind was today and just laid it up out there. I used to get a great shot. With these with these clubs, I got a great shot. There was no reason to go that way. That was this that was the this this area out here if I hadn't clipped. If I can get my pen to work. If I hadn't clipped and was like in this window, I'm that's gotta be wedge. But from the other side, it's short iron. Yeah, yeah, that's the side right there. Like, my opponent's going to play it smart. Now, it doesn't matter here, but, like, if you were really wanting to give yourself a shot at it that was super clean, no risk of getting into the rough, that's the side. For sure. Got to think, I have to think more strategically. I've been playing a lot of tournaments and haven't been playing a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, and I played a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. When I first started, for quite a few years, there's a different mentality you have to have. It's the fairway to fairway to green. All right, let's see where I'm at. There's max. There's mid. I'm in the mid. It's like the four per ring range. I think I have just enough. So the wind is uh, 8.9 divided by 4. It's 2.22 rings. I'm going to do 2 3. Two, three. Hitting it perfect. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> er, slightly over pulled it. Slight. Slight. It does seem like it's a little, it's hard to tell. It's. It seems like it's pretty flat, but it could go either way where you have to take off a little or add on just a little. Close. I have no idea what that would have been with the app. As far as where I was, I was... If we broke it into eights, I was six, seven, I was three eighths to seven sixteenths. It was less than half, but more than three quarters. I think the seven eighths. Is that fourteen sixteenths? 15 sixteenths. No, I was I was more back than that.
perfect. All right, all right. Let's see if we can get we get into a shootout. If I can remember, I've been on some of these shootouts and I'm starting to get like a feel for the play on them. But there are some adjustments to do, and there's a couple of these holes. This one right here, there is a rough bump. I don't know if I have the right stuff. If I had a guardian in my bag, I'd go right at it and I'd use that backboard. And I'd make sure that no matter what, it didn't matter whether I made a good or a bad adjustment, there are some benefits to playing with a guardian. I have the... There's several of the holes in this where you need a big hitting wood and you need top spin. But I've never, the Guardian has been, a, over the years for me personally, it's been a great club coming into greens on, in these shootouts because you can stick it up there and get right at it. And my opponent's right the hell at it. So we can just beat them. And max, max cataclysm. Max cataclysm is a one point eight per ring. Hey. Six point eight divided by one point eight is four point three four rings. There's four three four. And I added on fifteen percent. Where I would have came through there if I had my spin right, I put on I put on a little of something. I can't remember if it was backspin or topspin, but I need to uh, need to tighten that up a little. If it wasn't backspin, it needs to be backspin. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Give me a chance to win my money back. Got to got to figure out how to play. I'm gonna let me look at my bags. Like I, that cataclysm versus the guardian. The guardian's got like. Distance wise, let's just call it the same. Accuracy wise, it is more accurate, which is one of the reasons I like the Cataclysm 2 in here is because it's in that it's close to the two per ring, so it's easier to move the rings. It does have picks up 10 top spin when it gets to maxed out, and that 10 is huge with this Guardian. <laughs> There's a lot of times coming into holes you can use that backspin in such good ways. I mean, really. I played originally with a Guardian, and right now I feel like there's several shots in here that the Guardian would be lacking, but if I could get to the shootouts with it, and that's one of the things about playing with the Guardian is there's sometimes out on the course you'll struggle just a little, but if you can get to the shootouts with it, it's definitely a good club, because like in a hole like that, you can get up there on the hill and get close to it, so... You can almost take the hill out of place wherever it comes to a stop. I mean, it like comes to a stop. Do I have a bag set up just like that with a... I do have... Let me switch this bag up. Let me play for a bit with a... Let me play for a bit with the Guardian and see if the Guardian... How the Guardian plays. try it the guardian's gonna the biggest problem is is the rings and let's see if my i have i have like it's like going to some place and you eat something and then you go back there 20 years later and it's like you had these big expectations you were romantic about it and then you ate it again and it wasn't as good sometimes you go back to a place and it's the same and you're like yeah that's what i'm talking about this is a hole right here. Hold on. Man, this is the this is a hole that I really this is the bag. I think it's I 
like maybe four and a titch. Okay, it's nine divided by 1.5, six rings. I need to turn my damn grid on. There's five, six rings. Put some curl on it to bring it back to the fairway. Hitting it perfect. It's, it, yeah, that's the deal. It's it's easy when you do that to overpower, underpower. Like I set that shot totally up. I gotta, I gotta get my grid on. That was me setting the shot up in the grid right there. Really wouldn't help me, but the grid would have helped me. I like was like not thinking what the hell I was doing. I had a number in front of me, but that was not what I wanted to do. I did not want to get into that. In tournament play, we'll bring out a big ball and go all the way through that and get to the other side. There is a little bit of risk involved as far as getting caught up in the in that the little rough. But really, there's a bigger risk of rolling off on the backside where you overhit it. And my opponent. And I both. Well, my opponent's definitely in trouble. But I'm, I'm not in the best of conditions myself. I'm not where I can get up to the green, so there's no reason to go for it. The best thing to do is put myself in the perfect spot. 6.4, 6 6.4 divided by 1.8. Straight up's 3.55. Five. I'm going to do straight up. Just try and lay it up out there and give myself a shot. It's like one ring great to the left on the wind side so like that's the best side to hit to so if I needed to do extra <laughs> I just added it in <laughs> perfect perfect now the cup is just slightly higher but there's a mound between us so I don't know if it is or if we're it's pretty freaking close can't be more than a foot or two This is where you have a caddy and you go out and you walk a course and you get on a hole like this and like they're taking, they're looking at the elevations or they're looking at like, hey, like normally you'd use this club, but you should, or use this club at like open face. We want to get a lot of loft on it right here. That's that, that's that three quarter swing shot that you have. Man, I burned the shit out of my lip. <laughs> go lie there's Max. I am right at minimum club. How much backspin do I have? I'm going to do it all. Get right up on it. It is 7.4 divided by minimum club, minimum Goliath. 2.9. 2.55 rings. There's 25565. And I hit it two rings straight to the right. <laughs> Had to rush it. <laughs> I pulled the ball back and there was you know it was already on three seconds, so that's the whole deal about shooting the video. If I lose my train of thought, even for a split second while I'm talking and doing the thing, like I'm showing something, or if, if I get my brain's thinking about like how does that actually work, or doing the thing, I get caught up for even a second or two. I'm I'm way behind. <laughs> Record your own video though. You should talk during your own video. Like if you make a mistake or it's like, man, I should have pulled 10% more on that. So when you go back and you watch the video to see what you did, you're actually commentarying. That's the whole deal, right? Mistake making bastard. I'm just a rookie. Hell, I'm a rookie in pro clothing. In the hole. Mm. Here we 
go. Go into a shootout. Okay, I lost the last shootout. I need to win this one. I still have to learn them, but I still got to win them at the same time. You don't want to keep... Uh, some of these shootouts I, I do have good clubs for. I'm sure. Mm, let's see which way the wind's blowing. I like that wind. Where am I at? I'm at max cataclysm. Max cataclysm is 1.7. Seven point one eight rings. And if I can get where I can see my shit. Seven point one eight. There's five, six, seven, two. Oh. I think I switched 7.18 rings. That was an over pull by a ring. I must have pulled 8.18. Something happened there. I know what happened there is I went into my APOC and I'm not sure what kind of spin I had on, but I went into my APOC and that, that, uh, changed the whole deal because I think it made the I was pulling against the red line and then and so the ball guide wasn't moving I mean I wasn't seeing what and that is it I swapped into a different club I may have to rethink there's some times out here the wind's blowing right that that shot is killer but against a headwind like this, I'm going to have to come at it the just traditional way. Because you can get close. Good game, Good game my man. <laughs> hey, let's play again, man. I'm, I'm hip on it. I put that let's play again in the top three so that I can get to it faster. Hey, come on, dude. Come on, man. Give me a chance to get my money back. No? No, you don't like the don't like the action. What the what the shit? <sighs> is that two losses in a row? I'm gonna shoot a 30 minute video, and this I'll shoot a 30 minute video. This is a demonstration of how to go out and make mistakes and lose. As long as I make the mistake in the shootout, because I am learning from the shootouts. And today I'm getting like. Those shootouts weren't the ones that I've been getting like the last day or two. It's like they rotate them around. Because there are several of the shootouts in here that I feel like I have, like I have down. This is another hole. I'm not sure, I'm not sure in tournament play whether we play it this way or not. There is a way to get to the other side and hit you can't really get on but you can get a little closer and you're on the same level you can see the pin is definitely uphill from where we're hitting but if you get over to the other side you're on the same level so it's just a straight up shot and I think the distance is probably if you got all the way out to the end I think the distance is about the same Five, eight, four is six. Let me move six and a half. Hitting it perfect. Just trying to lay it up out there. Whatever club I'm in, that's got to be a big club. Wood.
There's a rough bump that we can do from here. This is another one of those ones if you're wanting to be risky about it. That's got to, we got to be taking wind off here. We have to be. I mean, that is way the hell uphill. Way uphill. The smart move to do it would be to get up there and get on the green, but on a hole like this, if you can work out the shot, if you can work the shot out, you can uh, go for it. That's what you put yourself in the right spot. You can you do the same shit you were doing in a tournament. Just you can go for it without uh, adjustment. But you have to know what the adjustments are, and I don't know what they are. So you got to do some trial and error. <laughs> you got to be willing to do some trial and error. Okay, that's all I can get on it. So where did I have to be? Five point four divided by an IMAP at max club. One point eight is two point seven rings. There's two seven. Hitting it perfect. And we'll see if that I took ten percent off. Whew. I shouldn't have taken any off because that, that 10 percent off it cost me right there because now I'm going to roll down the hill and I would have been up on the flat but I almost clipped clipped the sand and did the deal and these are the type of areas you definitely want to get up to that plateau so if I take that shot in the future it's just a one-to-one -one. it's just wherever you're at in your club not, excuse me not one-to-one -one, just wherever you're at in your club Plus zero. And these are the type of putts I do not like. Well, there's lots of types of putts that I do not like, but this is one of those ones that I don't like. Where you're going up the hill onto a plateau so you can't see the cup. You can see the glow. This isn't too bad because you can see the glow pretty fully. I missed it. But you got to hit those perfect going up that hill. Okay, give me a break. I got to miss one putt every day. And that, that is a serious deal. Like one putt every day. Every day. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on, I'm willing. I'm willing, I'm ready. You took my money. I missed a putt. Come on. Come on, man. What are you afraid you're going to, like, like, you're afraid you're going to, you don't have, you're afraid you're going to lose it now? But you're willing to go up against some random person? Come on, there you go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. And they're Seahawks. So I would assume they have some affiliation with the Pacific Northwest. That's Seattle. That's right up the road from my house. Sure, during tournament play we go up there, but I'm going up into that area. Okay, 10.4, 10 10.4 divided by 1.5, seven rings straight up. There's five, six, seven. I'm going to do eight, which is all the way out. That's as far as I can pull it. One ring great to the right, and that's actually pretty good. That was on the... And I think that that was the only thing that would have worked. That wind pushed me so far back that that first bounce that was on there, I barely cleared. I barely cleared along this row. <laughs> so if I'd hit it perfect, I would have clipped the rough out in this area. So that was a, uh, a good, a good great. 
a game saving great. They pulled out a power five ball and see with the power five ball you can get the same thing done with no overpower. <laughs> Because they could pull back and leave themselves enough room to work out the wind and end up in exactly the same spot as me. But we will be able to get it done with what we have, even if the wind stays like it is, which is the way that it should be. We got on this hole in one-on-one, -on -one and sometimes you get on and you got favorable wind, and sometimes you get unfavorable wind. shot. There's Max. Just wondering if I have enough topspin to get me up there to Nope. Probably just make an adjustment here. Four or five. Should I haven't even seen these holes before? What's the deal? Like I've been playing some tour nine, and these holes right here are like I'm not sure I've we've had these holes that often. That's that's cool. I'm trying to remember how to play them to put myself in a good spot. I did not. I was hoping there'd be a rough bump there. That would be a hole right there that I would I'd rather play with my guardian. And if I was short on that drive with the Guardian, I would have had lots of options. That green's so big, you could do, even against headwind, you could do a max overpower, max backspin shot and stick yourself up there on that. That is a pretty ball. I will say that. That must be, some, that must be from the last... I don't even know what that ball is. It looks cool. It's no katana. Everybody knows what a katana is. Come here, come on. I'll have to check when we go to the shootout to see what kind of ball that is. It must have been, it looks like from the open. Is it from the last open? I think we've had two opens now. That must have been, that must have been one of the ones that they were selling during that week. I assume. We'll see if I'm right. I could very well be wrong. Where is the wind blowing? Okay, where am I at? There's min. I'm at minimum club. Minimum cat is 2.2. Alright, 4.9. Get the mile away that you need to get in order to uh, find the spot. 4.9 rings. Oh, fucking I hit a two rings great to the left. That's the worst side to hit it to. Because it lengthens that arc out and puts you in the fucking sand. <laughs> you could probably hit that two rings. You could hit it the deal on the inside, that's why I was trying to leave myself enough room here. If you hit a great here, you got plenty of green over here. But when you're going on this angle and you start hitting it to the left, the farther to the left you hit it, the more it has to clear in order to get it. So a one ring would have been right here, probably clipped the rough, and a two ring would have been right on track, or a perfect would have been right on track. Urgh. Worst side to hit it to.
fuck, I think everything else, except for possibly a one ring grade to the left, I think it would have made it, but everything else would have been on the green. <laughs> Not saying it would have been close on the green. But I mean, fuck, if I'm going to have that much problems, I might as well do what my opponent's doing, because I have all the right stuff for that as well. I think consistency-wise, closeness, I could probably... And I love that hole, and I've been actually struggling on it. I have won a few on it, but I've I've been working on the wind, and I haven't been hitting it perfect on it. That is a rough hole. How much time I got left? I got six. I hey, I got I. If I can get this in before that timer goes off. All right, the timer has gone off, so this is the last game. Let's see if I can win one. Can I win one, or am I just going to go out and lose all day? I'm not sure I've lost, and I've lost in, I think I've lost in shootouts on every hole, so. Maybe. I might have lost one out on the course. Maybe. This is a fucking rough asshole. The stuff that I have in my bag, I could, if I get into the right spot over here, do the shot through the trees and still go for it. But with the katana, yeah, not with that wind. There is a max overpower hook shot you can do to get to the other side. And if you can just make it to the other side, you have you have a shot you can recover with your well, you can recover with a three power ball and a nirvana. I'm not sure how I'm you'd probably be close with a katana. It's tough to get out there to the end without doing exactly what my opponent did. And now they're in kind of a spot of bother. I'm going to play it the other way since they screwed up. And I'm going to lay it up out here just to see if I lay it up out here if my shot's good. Okay. Four rings. I'm going to do a ring set. That's a 10%. And maybe a little. I'm gonna lean to the right. And I hit a great one ring great to the left, but it'll still go great to the right. It'll still start leaning to the right. <laughs> Alright, I couldn't get um that's actually pretty decent. The deal is is if I could get my ball guy in front of this then I can use all of my top spin and, and I can really try and get it up there. Even with this wind, I should have a chance to get up to here. But if I can't make it to there, I'm just going to have to run my top spin out and I'll roll out into this area. But my opponent's given me a free shot here to try and get onto the green. So if I'm going to, I saved, he screwed up on the drive, I, I can save my screw up for the end. And they put themselves in the sand, so if I can just put myself out there, I'm in a spot. I don't know where I can get though. I can get in front of it. Look at that shit. This is where the big dog would have been a better club because it has more topspin. two rings off. So 9-9. Nine, 9.9 nine. 9 .9 divided by 1.8 is 5.5 rings. I'm going to do 6. Hit a one ring grade on the inside. That is perfect. If that doesn't go through then nothing I would have shot went through and it clipped the fucking tree. It came through that, that area and clipped the tree, curling it around. That means that wind pushed it way off. Way off. That is amazing. Like, I gotta go back and look, th look at that and see what the deal was there. But it was 9.9 .9 divided by 1.8 is 5.5 rings, and I moved it 6. And I did hit a 1 ring great on the inside, but that should not have pulled me 
I wasn't close to those trees. I'll have to go back and watch this video to see, like, was I even, with the curl put in there, I should have been way on the outside of them. Like, how did that even happen? I should have been on right there. That's the way to go, for sure. Like, fuck, look at my trajectory coming through there. I was aiming up towards this area. Like, how did I even come through? I guess I guess it had that much curl. I overcurled it. Now I'm now I'm in the shit. hoping it'd have enough there to, to keep me up and I'd just roll back down to the bottom. All right, now I put myself in a spot of bother. Look at that. That is, uh, that's how this goes. And I was out there proxying, but I, that is definitely the way to go. And so I, with that much curl on that cataclysm, I overcurl that I need to play it more like the apocalypse and less like the extra mile. With the apocalypse, I like to set those shots up with max curl because it gives you it gives me more room. But you've got to it's like artillery. You got to take a couple shots at it to find out how much room you need in order for everything to come into play. If I hit it perfect, it's going in the freaking hole. I can tell you that. I'm gonna slightly allow for the wind. Okay, if I hit it perfect and or. And I hit a one ring grate to the left. And that's four losses in a row. Look at that. Look at that. That's how you do it. The good news and the bad. And I... All right. All right. The next... I'm going to play this afternoon where I'm barbecuing. But when I'm done barbecuing, I'm going to come out and play. We'll play serious and we'll kick some ass. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe they'll replay. Hey. Hey. I'm ready. Yes. You, there we go. Look at that. Bonus content. I got an opportunity to lose five in a row. Then I'll have to come back on this evening and get all my trophies back. Damn it. I don't remember this all at all. Where the hell's the green? Must be off that direction. There it is. There it is. Uh, I remember in tournament play, we play a rough bump. Bounce number one, bounce number two in the rough, and you bleed out, and you end up in this area right here, and you've got another rough bump to the cup, I believe. And that that second rough that second shot is money. Like it's a really good, really good shot. But I'm not so sure you don't have to have that you gotta have Goliath in your bag. Maybe. Let's see if we can get uh I don't think that we can do the shot going up unless I overpower it. I don't think it's possible. Well, even with the overpower with this wind, uh, I mean, it's 7 5 a ring set and it's a 7 2 wind. I mean, there's no freaking way. There's no way. I'll try it. Worst thing I can do is do what my opponent did. I'm going to go right there. Hitting it perfect. If it was going to go, it's going to go, but it's going to be just a little short. But I wanted to stay in the fairway. <laughs> you got all that topspin on it. I mean, it's going to do a rough bump there or on the... It, if it hits the fairway there, you're trying to do a rough bump here. So, one way or the other, let's make sure we're in the fairway. So, this will be a max cataclysm, but... Without wind, I won't be able to work any wind out. So I'll have to do exactly what my opponent's doing.
this would be where if I had a guardian I would do a max backspin max overpower shot into the wind and at that angle you could slice it and it would end up on the green That dog will hunt. Perfecto. Prefecto. And I won't have room to work out the wind. So I'm doing the same thing that they were doing. And I don't like being that close. If I curl it around to get over there, I'm going to end up doing the same thing they did. So it's a uh, 10.9 divided by 1.8, six rings, 6.1, 6.1, isn't it perfect? And I should do the same thing they did, clip the rough, and then bleed out and be in the same exact area. You can go crazy on that green. That's a big ass green. I don't want to go sliding across it. <laughs> that is not the way to do this hole. The way to do this hole is to get enough distance up there and not have a headwind day so you can get up there and do a rough bump. I think a Guardian, it wouldn't matter which way the wind was blowing. And you could uh, get be in its range to the green this is there are several holes that i think the guardian would be good on and there are several holes that uh, i should switch between those bags just switch my wood if i could remember the what what which hole takes uh, which which wood Been trying to play with that cataclysm because I it's I don't have it in my 77 account I have it at level six here I have it at level five and I'm trying to get it to level six obviously but I'm trying to get used to playing with it because I'm playing with it in my 77 account even though it's not as good it uh, it is a it's still it's almost as good as a big dog it has better ball guide but it doesn't have as much topspin. All around, I think the top spin edges out the little teeny bit of, well, it's like 12 top spin or something. All right, I, I got it. I got this hole. All right, I'm doing a 25% adjustment. It should be a max club. I need to really check. I've got a 1.8 and 1.7 written down on my cataclysm for the max, and I'm not sure. I think one of them's with like a three power ball. We can get closer than that. We can win this. Eight point one. Divided by 1.8, 5.62 rings. Perfect. That was not the shot. I'm gonna bring my guardian. I think I was playing with a guardian before, and I I like the look. I was playing with a sniper before, and there's some holes like this that the sniper is definitely the shit. But the look at that four in a row. Is that five in a row? Let's see if we can. Let's see if they'll get a replay. 
Hey, I'm game, man. Come on, you win too. You should have some good confidence right now. Come on, dude. Come on, man. The viewers are on edge right now on whether or not Papa G is gonna gonna give me a no dice. Look at that, no dice. All right, that's how you lose five in a row, fifteen in a row. What kind of a losing streak am I on? This wouldn't be my worst losing streak, but win streak zero. Does it give us a long a losing streak? It does not. It does not. All right, there you have it. That's how you lose a few in a row. Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, if you're not a subscriber, hit subscribe. Hit the like button if you like. Leave a comment. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Have a great Sunday.